staying in the nation's capital, Nigeria's first lady, Oluremi Tinubu, has signed a compact of agreement with the wives of state governors as she calls for more stringent laws against rape and gender violence. Boyo Thomas reports. The United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, in collaboration with the First Lady's Renewed Hope Initiative, holds its Maiden Gender and Social Norm Summit in Abuja. The meeting is to inspire commitment in addressing issues such as female genital mutilation, rape, early child marriage, sexual and gender-based violence, among other harmful practices. Every single day we hear about rape cases. Even our babies are violated. Do we allow this trend to continue or do we look the other way? That is why I'm calling on the law enforcement agencies, the Inspector General of Police, the Attorney General of the Federation, the Chairman of the National Assembly, who is the Senate President, to appropriate and enforce stiffer laws and punishments for perpetrators of rape, sexual violence, and other forms of gender-based violence. No guilty party should be allowed to go free and start roaming the streets looking for the next victim. An alarming percentage of women have undergone female genital mutilation before the age of five, making the country the second highest contributor to the global total of 230 million affected girls, largely due to its high population density. Nigeria has the highest number of child brides in Africa, with an estimated 22 million girls married before reaching adulthood. These are no mere statistics. They represent life disrupted, dreams shattered, and futures compromised. Despite significant efforts over the years, uh, just about two months ago, with the Minister of Justice, we've been able to put together a standard operating procedure for violence-related practices within schools. The signing of the compact agreement by the First Lady indicates the collective efforts needed to fight this scourge. As UNFPA calls for support in the fight against sexual and gender-based violence, it assures that for every dollar spent, the return is four times the cost. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.